I'm going to basically teach you guys, right? I'm gonna give you some wisdom on how you can make a permanent change to your diet. What up squad, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Robert Bricks Glover and I live in this vid. I lost 160 pounds and on this channel I make videos where I teach you how to be well as hell. Because I used to be fat and broke and now I live the life of my dreams in a body that I'm proud of and you can too. So subscribe to the channel. Guys, hit the like button in advance right now. Let's get this video to 4,000 likes. If we get this video to 4,000 likes, I'm gonna pick people in the comment section to give free consistency over intensity hoodie to. I'm gonna give away one of these. But if you're interested in buying them, the link is in the description. So today's video is inspired by a question that I got from a member of the Brick Squad. Uh, and also, if you guys want me to make videos about your question, put it in the comment section below. So this question is from Idalia. How crazy should you be going with your diet? And that's a great question, right? So I'm going to basically teach you guys, right? I'm gonna give you some wisdom on how you can make a permanent change to your diet. Like, and I hate using the word diet, but you guys understand what I mean. It's about changing your relationship with food. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how to do that with this video. So stay tuned to the end. No bullshit. It's a little too hot in here for this. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about, the first tip, the first step is um, identifying the reasons why. Like, why do you want to permanently change your diet? Is it for shallow surface level reasons, which are fine, and I'll get to that. Is it for something deeper? Is it because you want to feel better? Is it because you want to look better? Like, why is it? Because your reasons why is going to be the motor. It's going to be the fuel, I should say, to the motor that drives you to success or not drive you to success. So your fuel is your why. Like, why do you wanna do this? So what you gotta understand is most of us are addicted to these foods that are destroying us. And we are under a spell. And in order to break that spell, in order to break that addiction, we have to have something that's going to drive us to be consistent, something that's going to drive us to be patient. Because this is a process that it's gonna take time, right? What are you, 20, 30, 40, 50 years old? It took you that long to build these habits, to build this relationship with food. It's not going to be undone in six months. That's just not the reality of it. So, so having the right reasons why, having some clean fuel that's going to drive you is very important. So something to help you figure out your reasons why is understanding the connection between your food, the things you eat, and the rest of your life, right? How is your diet connected to your mood? How is your diet connected to your confidence? How is your diet connected to your energy levels? How is your diet connected to your relationships? Like you gotta understand that there's a connection here. There's a connection between what you eat and your mental health, right? When you have that understanding, it's going to give you some real deep reasons why that is going to fuel you, that is going to motivate you. Because a lot of the times we don't understand that. We don't know that there's a connection between our diet and all of these things. So it's easy to just ignore the diet because you don't think it has that level of impact on your life when it actually does. So when you understand that, you're able to cultivate a deep, meaningful reason that is going to drive you because again, it is a process to change your relationship with food. It is a process to form new habits. It is a process to break that spell that these foods have on us. So when it comes to your reasons why, right? It's okay to have surface level reasons. It's okay to want, it's okay to want to look good. But if you don't have a deep down burning desire to feel your best, nothing else is going to work. You have to value vitality. You have to want to live in a way that will optimize your life, that will make you the best version of yourself so that you can live a long, happy, healthy life. If that doesn't matter to you, nothing is going to outweigh the enjoyment that you get from eating cheeseburgers and ice cream all the time, right? Nothing's gonna outweigh that. If you do not value feeling great, you cannot compete with the satisfaction that you get from those foods. So you have to tip the scales. Now, it's not to say that you can't have balance. You should have balance. You still should be able to enjoy cheeseburgers and ice cream, but from time to time, right? So it's important to understand your reasons why 
is the most important factor in changing your diet forever. The second thing, you have to educate yourself. And I have a special resource for you guys in the description. It is a free downloadable PDF where I teach you all the basics of nutrition. You have to understand what types of foods support your health. You have to understand how much you should be eating. You have to understand what time you should be eating. You have to understand the way that your body responds to certain food groups. You have to understand this stuff. Erase your ignorance around this stuff. Click the link in the description and download the free guide. So aside from the basics of nutrition, you have to understand how certain foods impact your body, right? Dig into the science. I'm, I'm telling you, if you understand how sugar and alcohol contributes to inflammation and how inflammation causes disease in your body, naturally, you're gonna be a little less attracted to overeating sugar and alcohol because you understand on a very scientific level what it is doing to your body. So sometimes we just have to erase the ignorance and as time goes on and we're practice making healthy eating choices, you're gonna organically change the way you eat. The third thing, you have to develop awareness. You have to understand your relationship with food. You have to understand why it is that you eat the way that you do. You have to have awareness around how much food you should be eating, right? I call it calorie awareness. You have to understand where your eating habits came from right? Is it conditioned? Did your grandparents teach you how to eat? Is it a cultural thing? Let me ask you a question. Did the person who taught you how to eat, do they have the best health? Think about the state of their health, right? Think about this stuff. This, some of this stuff is, it's just a cycle. Is it emotional eating, right? Are you stressed out and that's why you overeat? You have to understand these things. Sometimes some of us, we may need therapy or some of us, we may need other coping mechanisms for the stress that we have in our life. You have to build awareness around these things. And how you do that is by journaling, right? Make a daily food journal, write down what you're eating, write, write down how you're feeling, interview your parents, right? Take, or, or assess your life. Like think back to your childhood. Where did you learn your eating habits, right? And, and start to identify the root of some of these habits and slowly begin to change them using the awareness that you have, right? Track your calorie intake. You don't have to do it forever, but track your calorie intake. Understand how many calories you should be eating. How much protein should you be intaking? How, many, how much protein are you currently intaking? You have to understand this stuff. What gets measured gets managed. All right, so you have to build the awareness because a lot of this stuff happens subconsciously, guys. We have to shed light on this stuff. We have to understand this stuff because you cannot change what you cannot see. You need some accountability. You don't wanna to try to do this on your own. Accountability comes in many forms. Tracking your food in MyFitnessPal is one form of accountability. Getting a coach or a support group, right? Which I have my Bricks Fitness Insiders. Get a support group have someone to report to, send someone screenshots of your MyFitnessPal, buddy up with a friend, buddy up with your significant other. Find a way to build accountability, right, around your eating. There's a difference between the way you would eat when you're in a room full of people versus the way you eat when you're in a room by yourself, right? Accountability, right? We all need support, so get the support and the guidance that you need. If you need a one-on-one -on -one coach, I provide that service. A link to my coaching service is in the description below. So the last thing I wanna talk about is your attitude. You have to have a gracious attitude because again, you are trying to break a spell. You are trying to disconnect from an addiction, right? And it must be treated as such. And with that being understood, you have to be kind to yourself you have to be patient. You have to understand that this process is going to take a while, right? So that means not beating yourself up when you have a misstep or you make a mistake, right? Understanding that there's gonna be ebbs and flows. There's, there's gonna be times where you're super focused and there's gonna be times when you're not and not beating yourself up because the guilt and the shame is what stops most of us. You cannot allow guilt and shame to be a part of this process. Your attitude has to be patient, pleasant, and aware. You have to mentally frame every opportunity to make a choice of what to eat as practice making healthy eating choices. Just like with anything else, making healthy eating choices takes practice. And the more you do it, the better you will get at it. And the more you pay attention to how when I eat like this, 
I feel great versus when I eat like that and I feel like shit. When you pay attention to that, it's going to organically form your decision making. And this right here is the magic of habit change. This right here is the magic of awareness, but this takes time and consistency. Again, guys, consistency over intensity. This is the formula, guys. This is the formula. Add awareness and boom, you have magic. I'm going to I'm going to stop ranting right now. I hope this was helpful. Put your questions in the comment section below. And remember, the body that you want is owned by a higher version of yourself. So evolve. Peace.